I'm gonna give you the four best supplements that you can utilize for throwing, and we're gonna start right now. What's up everybody, it's Dane Miller from throwsuniversity.com, and if this is your first time to the channel and you wanna be a beast and hit some monster PRs, make sure that you like, you subscribe, and you ring that notification bell so we can help you drop some bombs. Now throwing is an extremely brutal sport. There's a lot of things at play. We've got to think right away. What goes into throwing? Technique. Technique rules. There's a reason why Ryan Krauser is the best shot putter of all time. There's a reason why Ryan Krauser broke the world record from a drugged up sauce head. There's a reason why he is the best and it's because he has the best technique ever. Same when it comes down to Joe Kovacs, Tom Walsh. These guys have phenomenal technique. That's why they can throw so far. Val Allman, technique technique rules. Next key factor, power output. They have to coordinate extremely rapidly. You have to be able to accelerate and implement in a very short time frame and a very short distance. Okay, I know javelin, you can have a full run up, hammer, there's four turns, but it's still a short distance. That's the big factor when we're thinking about discus and shot. You have to generate a ton of power. You have to coordinate very, very rapidly in a very short period. So we've got to think about that when we're trying to figure out what supplements might help that. Mobility, and again, I'd like to say this, throwing is violent. It is extremely rapid, right? It, it puts a ton of stress on various areas of your body. So when you're more mobile, you can lengthen and you can create a little bit more tension, but because of the rapid coordination, you might have issues in your hips. You might have issues in your back. You might have issues in your shoulders. You might have issues in your elbow. Throwing made it so that I can't lock out my elbow anymore. So we have to realize that mobility is a key factor. And that's one of those hidden secrets now is that a lot of these guys that are clean can throw farther than the sauce heads used to back in the 80s and the 90s because we've got mobility. We've advanced with physical therapy, with, with physios, right? And so we also have advanced with understanding what supplements can improve joint integrity. So we've got to think about that when we're trying to work through our supplements for throwing. And then finally, we want size. Okay, we wanna increase our muscular mass. If we have a little bit larger of a muscle, we can produce a little bit more force. When we're trying to increase size, we wanna try to get more calories. We wanna think about easy ways to get more calories and easy ways that we can get more calories to help us recover to increase our size. Those are all those key factors that go into figuring out what supplements are gonna help us as throwers. So when we're trying to figure that out, now we go into that first key supplement is gonna be caffeine and pre-workout, okay? or you can use this together. Most pre-workouts are gonna have caffeine. If you don't like pre-workouts, you can just use caffeine, you can use coffee, you can use you know, no dose from the, from the grocery store. I recommend utilizing a good solid pre-workout that has 200 to 300 milligrams of caffeine. Maybe you have some beta alanine in there, tyrosine, something that's gonna stimulate your nervous system, stimulate your brain, wake you up a little bit. But that's where caffeine comes into play. If we're focusing on technique, if we consume caffeine 15 to 20 minutes prior to our workout session or prior to our throwing session, it's gonna stimulate our nervous system. It's gonna wake us up enough so we can actually learn technical movement more effectively. That's a key concept here is that caffeine can actually help you learn and remember things a little bit easier. Now you factor in some tyrosine on top of that and it really can give your brain a little bit of, of an advantage. Think about nootropics, that's what goes on. It makes learning a skill slightly easier. Throwing, you have to have skill. You have to have skill in the weight room, doing technical movements like snatches, cleans, jerks. You also have to have skill out in the circle. Spinning, gliding, those are skills. So utilize caffeine. You know, if you're a heavier person, you can get to 400, 500 milligrams. If you're a lighter person, stay at 150 to 250 milligrams per workout. Try to play around with that. Make sure you don't have too much caffeine after three o'clock in the afternoon because you might not be able to sleep, but utilize caffeine or pre-workout to improve that technique. That next key supplement is gonna be collagen with vitamin C. A lot of research has been done on collagen and collagen with vitamin C, and typically collagen with vitamin C is going to be absorbed a little bit more effectively by your joint, so it's gonna improve your joint integrity. That's where this comes into play, right? We gotta think about mobility. We gotta think about how aggressive the deceleration phase is at the front of the circle on that left side if you're a right-handed thrower. So we need our knees 
to be very mobile and to be able to handle that. We need our elbows to be able to be stable enough to handle that rapid acceleration into that big deceleration at the front. So collagen with vitamin C, I'd say anywhere between 20 and 40 grams of collagen with vitamin C. The other aspect here is that we've got to think about size. We've got to think about muscular size. We've got to think about getting a little bit more calories into our nutritional intake. If we add in 20, 30, 40 grams of collagen, now that's a little bit more protein that we can put into our diet. That's a little bit more calories that we put into our diet and that's gonna help us increase that muscular size and improve our overall recovery. If our recovery is improving, we're gonna be able to add muscle mass a little bit easier. So utilize that every single day to help improve your joint integrity and enhance your mobility. Now that next protein supplement is gonna be whey protein. If you're allergic to dairy, let's say you use beef protein, you can utilize a, a plant protein. You can utilize anything to increase your overall recovery, improve that size. If we are taking anywhere between 80 and 100 grams of whey protein, okay, that's gonna be two to two and a half servings. I recommend throwers especially. If we're walking around 250, 260, bigger dudes. If we have women that are walking around at you know 190 all the way up to 220, we should be getting two to three scoops a day, up to 90 plus grams of protein a day directly from whey protein. Whey is phenomenal for muscle protein synthesis. It's an easy way to wake up in the morning, chug your milk with some protein in it. Then around midday, you have some more milk and some protein post-workout milk protein. Now you got those three scoops, you feel good, you feel healthy, you're recovering really well, you're adding that muscular size, you're increasing your power output. One of those factors is that when we're in the weight room, if we're doing heavier squats, if we're doing heavier benches, if we're doing snatches, cleans, jerks, you might get some chronic overuse issues. You might have a little bit of, of knee pain here and there. You might have some elbow pain here and there. You might have some lower back pain here and there. If you're recovering better, if you have more muscular mass, that's gonna help you feel a little bit stronger, a little bit more explosive. That's where whey protein comes in again two to three scoops a day, up to 90 grams, you can go even more. I have some athletes that are complete meatheads and might take five scoops a day. That might be a little bit excessive, but at least two to three every single day to help improve that muscle protein synthesis. Now, before we finish up with that last key supplement, if you need help with your training, you need help with your programming, click on the link down below, head over to throwsuniversity.com and you can pick up a program to help you become a better thrower. That's gonna take us to that number one supplement, creatine, okay? Creatine is not banned by the NCAA. It's not banned by USADA. It's not banned by WADA. It is not illegal. It is not an anabolic steroid. It is a protein, okay? It's an amino acid. That's it. It's not going to kill you. There's no research that shows that it has a negative impact on your kidneys. There's no research that it's bad for you. It's extremely safe. And if you don't believe me, go to PubMed, type in Darren Kandel creatine, type in Scott Forbes creatine, read their research. It is probably the most researched supplement outside of whey protein and probably the most researched compound outside of caffeine. So it is extremely safe. I recommend utilizing creatine to improve your cognitive ability, okay? It's gonna help you learn technique a little bit more effectively. It's gonna help with your power output. It's gonna help with your size. You can increase your rate of coordination when your muscles have a higher saturation point of creatine. And it's even been shown to improve quality of sleep. It's a phenomenal supplement and everybody on the planet should probably be taking it. Everybody. Take 0.1 grams of creatine per kilo of body weight. Another easy way to look at that might be, okay, so for me, if I weigh 110 kilos, I wanna take 11 to 12 grams. So if you're up over 200 pounds, just end up factoring out, all right, I'm probably gonna take around eight to 10 grams of creatine. If I'm under 200, I should take between five and 10 grams of creatine. And that's gonna help you figure that out. It's gonna improve your technique. It's gonna improve your recovery. It's gonna improve your rate of coordination. It's gonna help with your sleep and utilize all of these supplements, all four of these key supplements. Caffeine, you might use two to three days a week, or if you want to, as you get older, you'll probably end up using it every single day. Collagen, daily. Whey protein, daily. Creatine, daily. Utilize these to improve your overall throws-based performance. It's gonna help you hit those monster PRs if you need help. Head over to throwsuniversity.com to pick up a throws-based training program. If you want more content around throws-based training, click on this card right here. Until next time, guys, peace.